Hello, Web Summits. My name is Sander, and I will be your host today for this masterclass. I'm joined here today by Alex Wellman from eResidency and Kristi Veskus from Work in Estonia. We're here to talk about why Estonia is the best place to get work done, either online with eResidency or physically, or currently also remotely, at one of our amazing startups. But first things first. Estonia has been called the most advanced digital society in the world. Is it true? Let's find out. Estonia, a small Nordic country, started building a digital society about two decades ago. Today, Estonia is one of the most advanced digital societies in the world, where state services are 99% online and available 24-7. For the private individual, state services are only a few clicks away. Filing an annual tax report online only takes three minutes. Digital medical records are available online and a centralised paperless system allows one to issue and handle medical e-prescriptions around the clock. It is even possible to vote online and around one third of Estonian voters use the service. Estonia has been a pathfinder in public sector e-services, eager to seek out the best solutions, learn from mistakes and share the experiences. Cooperation and digital leadership is the key. We could not have developed the digital ecosystem so quickly and efficiently without the partnership of both private and public sectors, as well as research institutions and the voluntary IT community. Many of Estonia's innovations and e-solutions have been successfully adapted in over 60 nations worldwide, a third of the world. With e-residency, e-services are available to anyone using an e-residency digital ID card. We aim to adjust to the future, moving basic services into a fully digital mode. This way we can stay focused on our values of efficiency, openness, security and innovation. Please visit eestonia.com for more. Now let's bring in Alex to talk about e-residency. All right, thank you, Sander. Thanks so much. So welcome everyone to our master class. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today about e-residency. But before we jump into that topic, Let's talk a little bit about Estonia itself. So Estonia is a country in Northern Europe, and it's known for basically two things. One being its incredible business ecosystem, home to five unicorn companies, companies like Skype, TransferWise, etc. But it's also known as one of the most advanced digital societies in the world. And that's because over the past 20 or 25 years, Estonia has been developing digital services for its own citizens and residents. Meaning now in Estonia, 99% of government services are available 100% online. So about four, year, four years ago, or five years ago now, Estonia thought, hmm, we've built all these amazing systems for, for our own citizens and residents. But how can we actually open up this environment to the rest of the world? How can we let other people take advantage of our digital society? So that's where e-residency comes in. E-residency is a digital ID card issued by the government of Estonia to people who live outside of Estonia's borders. So we give you a digital ID card which you can use to access services in Estonia. Uh, and this has been incredibly popular so far over the years. And of course, one important thing is that access to Estonia's trusted and transparent services as well. So you might ask, who is this for? Who is actually signing up for this? I think when Estonia launched this five years ago, we weren't sure exactly you know, who would be signing up for this program. But now, actually, we understand that the most important part is that when you become an e-resident, you can set up a company in Estonia 100% online and run it from anywhere in the world. So I think especially this year, as we've seen with the acceleration of remote work due to the COVID-19 pandemic, more and more people are wondering how they can actually do business for themselves uh, do have a side project, have a side hustle, and they want to be able to run this company from wherever they, they want to be. So, if, for example, if they want to be on a beach in Bali, or if they want to be in their home village next to their grandmother. Uh, with e-residency, 
you can start a company 100% online. So I would say Estonia is actually a little bit ahead of, the, ahead of the curve here when it launched this program. So let's actually kind of go into the topic and talk about what is e-residency and how you could take advantage of it. Um, okay, but let's uh, talk about some numbers first. So you, maybe you're wondering, okay, Alex, but who is actually signing up for this? Is anyone actually taking advantage of this? And over the past uh, five years of the program, we've had 75,000 e-residents now from 160 countries around the world. And those e-residents have set up over 15,000 companies in Estonia. So truly incredible. And so you're wondering maybe, okay, this is a masterclass, Alex. Tell me, how can I do this? How can I do this? So let's go over the basics. Uh, with e-residency, you apply online. Uh, it's a safe, secure online system uh, that's operated by the Estonia's Police and Border Guard Board. And then you uh, have to go pick up your card at one of Estonia's embassies because it is a government-issued digital identity, meaning that it's issued to you as a person, and it's, it's a government-issued ID, ID just like Estonians get. And once you have that in hand, then you can access amazing services. So the number one reason why people apply is to actually set up a company. So once you have your e-residency card in hand, you, you go to Estonia's business registry, you find a uh, service provider in our marketplace, which we'll talk about later, and you can register your company and access all the services you need to run your company fully online. So no paperwork, no going to the notary, no making a, um, you know, appointments at offices across town. It can all be done you know, from the comfort of your home or, or wherever you want. And again, with e-residency, you get services, access to lots of different services um, as an e-resident. So for example, we have a marketplace on our website where you can actually access services like uh, your local, your, your company address services. You can access business banking. You can access services like tax and legal consulting. So all of the services you need to be a successful entrepreneur and to run your company in Estonia. So I would just uh, you know, say that with e-residency, what we're trying to do with the world is actually embrace entrepreneurship and let people wherever they happen to live, wherever they happen to be born, let them actually uh, access a company, run it from anywhere in the world. And you know, I think this is something that we're seeing more and more around the world that people, people want to do this. So uh, again, if you're interested in e-residency, visit our website, eresident.gov.ee, uh, apply online, uh, then you need to pick up your ID card as well. And there's lots more information there about how, you can, how the process works, Maybe you have questions like taxa about taxation, about how to you know, find, uh, find a marketing partner, uh, how to find all this information. So visit our website to find all that. Thanks a lot. Community. Movement. Freedom. I've been working location independently for many, many years. But just in 2017, my life changed completely when I figured out how I can use the Estonian e-residency for that. I get rid of everything that throws a shadow and does not fit into my suitcase. And since then, I'm a perpetual traveler. At the very beginning, the e-residency for me was just a tool. But then I figured out it's much more than that. It's a community and it's a mindset. It's really hard to find another e-resident who you wouldn't make friend with. As a big part of my life, I enjoy to travel the world and discover new places, learn about traditions, history, and get to know new people. The idea of government as a service behind the e-residency just allows me to work wherever I want and run my company from any place in the world at any time. I prefer to travel to places that are not on the most tourist maps. I'm intrigued by regions where there are political tensions or even divisions. I like to get to know people on both sides of walls and maybe even build bridges between them. To 
work from anywhere and as an individual, even more important to be wherever I want to be. That's what freedom means to me. Thank you, Alex, for this uh, informative presentation. And now we'll turn to Christy from work in Estonia. So we've learned today a few things about the digital society and e-residency. But what is work in Estonia actually about? Well, work in Estonia is all about innovation, opportunities, uh, unicorns. We seem to have the most unicorns per capita. We have a very vibrant uh, startup ecosystem. We work with self-driving cars, uh, cyber cubes, robots. So it's that type of stuff. And um, to bring uh, all these great and groundbreaking ideas together and to life, we need even more talent than we currently have. And that's what we are here for. We bring together Estonian companies and the global IT talent. Okay, so you need talents. Uh, let's presume that I'm a talent from a foreign country and I would like to come to Estonia. But I have one question. What's in it for me? Well, let's take a look at one video. Okay, let's have a look. <laughs> Why work in Estonia? Number one, digital society. Estonia is the most advanced digital society in the world where technology is embedded in the culture. No wonder it is also the startup nation of Europe. If innovation excites you, this is the place to be. Career boost. Things happen quickly in Estonia. Here, ideas are more important than age and skills are valued over small talk. Make new connections in a heartbeat. Get promoted in no time. Buckle up and be ready for liftoff. Great work-life balance. All work and no play makes you dull. Full stop. In Estonia, flexible working hours and short commute times come as standard. Use the free time for hobbies, spend it with family and friends, or just do nothing at all. Clean environment. Want to escape noise and congestion? Estonia quietly captivates you with clean city air, low population density, and abundant nature. Make no excuse to stay in. It's only 30 minutes from desk to trail. Stable and safe. Estonians might seem hard to approach with their Nordic ways bordering on boring. Rest assured, they open up soon. And thanks to the low corruption and crime rate, a sauna is the only place you'll ever sweat in. Wow. <laughs> Seems really interesting. Okay, Christy, go on. Well, to sum it up, so if you are the type of person who is actually excited about uh, technology and innovation and you would love to promote your career, but you also evaluate uh, very good work-life balance, then Estonia is the place for you. We have plenty of opportunities for that here. You could basically say that technology is embedded in our culture. I mean, uh, basically all our public services are, are available online. You can do everything digitally. Um, actually, correction, there are two things that you cannot do online. One of them is getting married and the second one is getting a divorce. <laughs> okay, but is it coming? <laughs> We're close and closing that one, the first part to do online. And uh, <laughs> it's the only the final last part that okay, you have so to do physically. So soon there's a possibility that you can actually marry through internet. It's like Tinder, but on another level. Pretty much, yes. Okay, it seems interesting. Okay, go on. Um, also, talking to Estonians uh, is relatively easy because uh, we very much value uh, straightforward communication. You speak your mind and we judge people by their skills. So it's quite common for young people, for example, to lead large teams and entire companies. And if you want to get some rest, get out of the city, uh, go to nature, then it's also very easy. Estonia is very accessible. Okay, that's, uh, that seems interesting. I can see how accessibility and short commutes could make a difference if you're living in a big city, for example. Mm -hmm. But isn't it all just like uh, a little bit like a guessing game? Uh, I have a question, like what do people actually who have already moved here from another country, uh, how they are actually living and working here? Can you have some kind of like examples of people, some inspiring stories? Um, well, let's uh, see what Nick has to say. Nicholas is from Austin, Texas, United States, and he has been living in Estonia for quite some years now. Okay, let's have a look. 
I think、uh, Estonia is very accessible. When you're in Tallinn, you're never more than 20 minutes away from being in the countryside, and that's something that I really like about the country. You have access to everything a big city offers, but you also have access to the quiet and peaceful nature as well. Actually, it is kind of nice. I've embraced the Estonian mentality of escaping the city a little bit. Birdhouse, a little high for me though. I came here for the first time in 2009. It, it left a very good impression on me. I really enjoyed the vibe the the country had, and now I've settled here for nine years. I think I've had the opportunity to really build my life in Estonia, basically from scratch. The ability to conduct any sort of、uh, personal business or service online is a very real thing in Estonia. So we have online banking, online voting. I can log into several services online, all with the same system. Even the services aren't necessarily connected. The digital infrastructure was already in place, so it was a seamless transition to going from working from the office to working from home. We were able to do everything online. Just the fact that even in the private sector, all of these companies are realizing the value of offering their services not only physically but also online、uh, was really evident during the isolation period. Estonians definitely have the reputation for being a little bit cold and stoic, which is, in a lot of cases, true.、Uh, Estonians can be people of very few words when it suits them, but I think once、uh, you dig beneath the surface and you spend a little time here and you get to know them, and especially when you speak a little bit of the language, they're actually a very embracing and warm people. Okay, I'm totally convinced now. I, if I had a mic, I would drop it, but at the moment I just don't have it. But、um, speaking of Nicholas, do we have、um, some other people、uh, who has these kind of、uh, inspirational stories? Actually, yeah, we are quite lucky to have、um, a large part of our expat community to share their personal stories, like why have they come to Estonia, what they like, what they don't like. So it's very relatable、uh, material. And if you would like to know more, then you should go to、uh, Work in Estonia homepage, and you can see like tens of videos uh, from uh, all across the world, different nations,、uh, different type of, types of、uh, people. So yeah, go to the homepage and check it out. Okay, but now this seems great. But if、uh, someone who's watching at the moment is trying to build the next unicorn and、uh, is thinking about maybe coming to Estonia, what should they do? Is it complicated, simple? What's the next step? Well, Estonia is、uh, quite accessible, also as Nick said, and、uh, we have made、uh, the route from、uh, your idea looking for a new job to an actual job application very easy. You just have to visit the, our、uh, homepage, workinestonia.com, and one of the first things you will see、um, are the available、uh, job listings.、Mm -hmm. But do, do you have any interesting job listings that come in mind at the moment that I can maybe apply to? I know that at least four of our current unicorns are currently hiring. Okay, can you tell which which kind of、uh, unicorns are there like、uh, at the moment, trying to looking for people? Well,、uh, our latest、uh, addition to our unicorn list was Pipedrive. Pipedrive is currently hiring. Transferwise is hiring. Also, Bolt, for example. Okay, I will do my application today. And、uh, as we heard from Nicholas before, when working in the city centre, you can actually never—you are actually never too far away from the countryside. And、uh, what do you say? Without even noticing, we have reached the centre of beautiful Estonian nature. And also, we have—is it Alex there? We have managed to find <laughs> Alex again. Hello. And since our masterclass is running out of time, we're going to sum it up with few questions to Alex and Christy. So a little Q and A. If you're ready, are you ready? We're ready. ready. Alex, first question is for you. What is the future of e-residency? That's a great question. I, I think a lot of countries are going to be thinking about the future of e-residency this year, because all countries actually need a way to serve people beyond their borders. So Estonia was the first one with e-residency, and Estonia actually has many opportunities to innovate on top of e-residency as well. So Estonians should be asking themselves, how else can we serve people? How else can we serve e-residents? Can we offer them pensions? Can we offer them other services that entrepreneurs need? So I think the real future of e-residency is the private sector building more services for e-residents and other countries developing their own e-residency systems. But are there also already coming some kind of new innovations that we can offer to the e-residents? 
Well, I think, you know, with e-residency, it's about kind of digital access to Estonia. So it's about starting your company here, access, accessing services completely online. Now, with work in Estonia, it's more about coming here physically to work, either mm. in person or remotely. So I think uh, we can actually, we're talking about things like a digital nomad visa, which was launched uh, back in August, which means that if you have a company here, maybe you actually want to come physically here and work for your company or for your company abroad. So like letting people actually come here to work physically is another innovation, I would, I would, th I would say. Okay. And Christy, what about remote, uh, remote work? Do Estonian companies value remote work, especially right now during the pandemic? Well, remote work is definitely one of the keywords of 2020. And uh, actually, Estonian companies have been hiring throughout uh, this global pandemic time because uh, businesses are growing and um, we have to carry on. So uh, remote work is definitely something that we have been practicing during this year a lot. And Estonian companies hiring people who are staying safely at their home in their home country, but still working for uh, our companies. But what are the, um, the newer ideas how to uh, manage remote working? I think it puts a lot of pressure on um, HR people because uh, they not only have to be responsible for like equipping the person technically, getting them a computer and uh, getting them uh, connected to uh, internet or something like that, but it's more like uh, building uh, the team vibe and taking care of also people's uh, mental health. Mm -hmm. Because people are separated, but you have to bring them some, somehow you have to bring them together. Okay, yeah. it's a great difficulty how to overcome yeah. this question. And Alex, the last question for you. Why should someone work in Estonia? Well, you know, I'm thinking to myself, okay, it's going to be three o'clock soon. It's going to be dark outside uh, <laughs> already. So no, I'm just joking. I think I really, <laughs> like looking, I, li I really like working in Estonia because as we've been talking about all this technological innovation here, how everything can be done online, I think a lot of people start to think about, okay, that's really cool, it's convenient, but I think what's more important is that it gives you more time for, your, for yourself, for you and your family. So you don't need to spend time going to government offices. You can have time to go to the sauna, go to the bog, go outside, go in the nature. Um, you have, you know, there's a better work-life balance here. That's the number one thing. Also, I like how small and kind of uh, inclusive Estonia is as well. I remember one time I had to contact one of the Estonian min government ministers and I was nervous and my colleague said, just email them personally. You don't need an <laughs> introduction. You don't need to, everyone knows each other. You can knock on the door of the prime minister. Well, maybe not that, but you know, you can, you can actually find people. If you want to talk to the CEOs of the unicorns here, you can actually access them. So I think this is one of the best things about Estonia. Everyone knows everyone, everyone's accessible and you get to know everyone. Okay. Thank you, Alex. Thank you, Christy. And I would like to thank all of you for participating in this masterclass. Thank you.